Hi everyone, it's Vlogmas Day 2. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas day number two. So exciting and it just happens to be falling on a Friday and I've got my new wink in so we are going to do my wink wine club. We're just going to do one bottle and then of course we're going to do our Vlogmas items. But first I just want to say welcome back everyone. I'm so excited to see you guys again and we'll start off by showing you the ugly sweater of the day. Of course I got these antlers on that um, have kind of LED lighting in them, so that kind of makes it fun. And we've got Santa Paws. So we've got this cute little puppy. He's got some bling on his glasses. We've got bells. We've got some ugly sweater details. It's tu tunic length, and I've got on my Spanx. My as is that I got from QVC for 33, these velvet leggings from Spanx. It's going on five years since I've had these. Yeah. It was a good buy for $33. So anyway, I am so excited to have you guys come back again. And we'll start off with doing Wink. And I will leave a video up here somewhere of my first Wink unboxing that will explain a little bit more about it. But basically, it's a wine subscription club. Um, if you use my link below, your first four bottles are going to be $29.95. After that, if you decide to stick with it, it goes to $59.95 for four bottles of wine. And shipping is free. Um, if you do use my <coughs> sorry about that. If you do use my link, I do get a free bottle of wine. So thank you in advance if you do that. If you have cash back, uh, you use rebates, Rakuten, you're going to automatically get a $9 cash rebate from them. A lot of times on the weekends, they double and triple it. You know how Rakuten sometimes does that. So Labor Day weekend, they had it. So it was triple cash rebates back on the Wink channel. So your first four bottles, you would have got $27 off. Your first four bottles would have been $2.95 shipping was free so if you are interested pay attention for those Rakuten special deals save a little bit more money so anyway we got this month and uh, of course that link is going to take you you're going to fill out a questionnaire about different foods that you like from there they're going to curate a box for you after that they're just going to give you recommendations based on your reviews and you can either go with those reviews or you can pick out your own but anyway, I've been having fun using their recommendations and just having a blast doing it. The box that I got this month, I got one from Argentina that we're going to have tonight. I got one from Spain and two from California. So I'm excited about trying those. The one that we're going to have tonight, and I was actually going to have it with pizza tonight, but 
I ordered a prime rib slice, prime rib for Thanksgiving, and it was so big, it wouldn't even fit in my pan, because I, I ended up splitting it in three, and I'm having the last of it tonight before it goes bad. I actually froze it, and then just kind of thawed it and reheated it. So this is by Inkari, made with organic grapes. It's a Malbec 2020 from Argentina and Estate Modeled. So anyway, like I said, I was going to have it with pizza because it does recommend having it with pizza. But I thought I would take that prime rib out of the freezer and get that finished off tonight. This is probably more than I need, but it is a nice deep purple color here. And I can see the legs on it already. It is coating my glass really, really nice. So let's kind of stir this around. I opened this a little bit earlier today, about an hour ago, just to kind of get it aerated a little bit, but we'll get a little bit more air in here. We'll swirl it around in the glass, get those aromas to release, the fragrances. Mm, it smells nice. I actually smell like coffee. Maybe because it's got that coffee behind me. But I smell coffee. Something tart like cranberry back here. Spicy like pepper. And plum. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Yes, it's it's a nice dry. It's really, really smooth. You can still feel it like up against the top of your palate. Really coats uh, your mouth. It leaves a really nice finish. It's nice. It's smooth. Um, back here, you can taste that cranberry. You get the sweetness of the dark plum. You get a little bit of that coffee kind of texture in here, that flavor. And then the pepper kind of gives it a little bit of added warmth. So it's got kind of got a whole lot of things going on here. Just going to have another quick sip. Mm. This is really, really good. So anyway, this is so new to their website. It didn't have any ratings yet. They're saying the medium, the body is medium. Uh, sweetness is dry. It's 14% alcohol. Tasting notes, coffee, cranberry, dark plum, and pepper. And it says, channeling the spirit of the Inca Empire, the Incari Malbec is a red that represents the future of Argentinian wine. It says the Incari myth is one that has been passed down to generations and is a famous legend of the Indian culture. It centers on the last ruler of the Inca people and his desire to return and restore peace between Mother Earth and her children. Um, let's go down. It says the single vineyard estate bottled Malbec is made from, I'm going to mush this word up bad, biodynamically grown grapes grown in carefully tended plot. Deep notes of dark stone fruit, red berry, and warming pepper. Spice shine against a complex tannic structure. This would be great paired with blue cheeseburgers. Oh my god, that would be good. Uh, thin crust pizza or grilled portobello mushrooms. It says serve uh, at solid temperature. I'm thinking that's somewhere between 40 and 50, maybe but I'm really not sure what that is. I should really look it up. Pairs well with burger, pizza, cheeses, and veggies. And like I said, I was going to have it with a pizza tonight. But I've got the last of my prime rib. And this was so big, I had to split it in two thirds. And usually I just uh, kind of put it on my grill or just kind of put it in the oven. Just kind of roast it. You just really need to heat it up since um, it comes already pre-cooked. But I want it to be different, so I use the last of my Tastefully Simple, this Bayou Bourbon Glaze. I had this on some steak, and I loved it. So I put it on here. It really, it gets it a really nice flavor. It's a really gets nice and dark here. And then, of course, I got some horseradish here because I do like my spicy horseradish on my prime rib. And just some steamed rice. So that's my dinner for tonight. Looking forward to that, and yeah, so next Friday we'll do another wink wine. But of course, I got another wine to do because it's Vlogmas. So I'm using this one from Sip and Saver Wines. I already took out door number two, just and I put it in the refrigerator earlier today. So, door number two, 
And again, this is the holiday sweater wine collection. And this one is a Chardonnay. It's from Lodi, California. So let's do that. I probably should have got my handy dandy elastic. I think I got one right here. So I hope everyone is having a great week. Oh, yeah, Vlogmas, so much fun. I'm going to really do my best to keep these short. And oh, I should have brought in a piece of paper. Well, I got my notes here from my. So this is from Snap Elf. And this is that second class that I got. Which has got like the colored Christmas trees right here. And then my name on it. Again, it's Snap, Snap Elf. She's on Etsy. She shipped my order. I ordered two wine, three wine glasses. Um, it shipped in on the second day, and then it took three days in the mail to get to me, so that was really nice. So let's pour the Chardonnay. I'll let it sit here in the glass a little bit. I already took my coffee from the my Carrick, my 24 cups of cheer. I had the reindeer blend yet this morning for breakfast. That was what I pulled last night. That was really good. It was like a cherry-flavored coffee, but it was really good. This one... It's Kahlua original, so that's good. I love Kahlua, so this is going to be really good. We'll have that tomorrow morning with my breakfast, and we got the lint chocolate. And I don't know why I said last night that I was going to save it for today. Yeah, as soon as I finished that video last night, that piece of chocolate was gone. It was so smooth. Alrighty, so number two, and it was a foil-covered teddy bear. And this I got from World Market. I ordered from like different places this year um i tried to get a one of cookie the cookie of the day and they were like miniature cookies and yeah every time i put my order in it went through and three days later oops sorry no stock so this is what this one looks like so i settled on the chocolate so it's lint premium chocolate this looks like the size of those kind of andy's candies ones but it was really nice it was really smooth looking forward to having that alrighty so let's do this Chardonnay hmm I just kind of smell vanilla like a light citrus nothing really really strong but anyway cheers everyone hmm This has got kind of citrusy flavor to it, but also I'm tasting some apple, um, like a sweet, like a red delicious apple maybe. It's a sweet apple. Um, got some citrus, maybe a little bit of lemon in here, some vanilla, and it is smooth. It is like velvety, smooth, buttery texture. Really, really good. So I've got my two glasses of wine. I've got my prime rib, my rice, my chocolate. I think I'm going to be good for a few hours. So anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, I guess, for Vlogmas number three. Take care, everyone. Love you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.